Roswell flight test crew here wrapping up our show coverage from AUVSI Exponential in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm here with none other than the drone girl herself, Sally French. How are you doing, Sally? Good. How are you? I'm very well. So what did you see here at the show that you liked? Ooh, so many things. The first thing I saw when I walked in was a big Autel booth, which I've never seen them in person before. Some nice cute orange drones. I love that. And then I headed over to the main cage and saw tons of drone demos. DJI is there. All kinds of crazy contraptions inside of the drone cage and I'm wondering what they're gonna do with them. Other than that I've seen really really cool drones that go in water. I saw some roving drones and one that looks exactly like Wally. -E. Um, I wish I knew which company made it. I'm just totally inundated with so many drones. I think this is the biggest drone show I've ever been to before. Now the one thing I've noticed at this show particularly among the larger aircraft you know the military you know stuff is they're all going VTOL. I mean there are three or four different ones that are like a normal normal fixed wing drone, but they've got four propellers, let them take off straight up. And then you've got like Autel, which is also making a really sweet looking little yeah, quad, yeah. has built this Kestrel, which is very elegant. The right, motor it lifts absolutely. off and then the motors pivot. And then the most, clearly the award for the most audacious design goes to in situ that's got that big X8 yes, flare system, yes. lifts the scan eagle up and then just drops it. I mean, that is yeah. just, I love that. Right, right. There's, there's so many different designs. It's not just a fixed wing or it's not just a multi-rotor. There's everything here. From pre previous years, we've seen a big change. It's a lot less emphasis on the military big iron stuff. We're seeing more commercials. Is that what you've heard as well? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. There were so many companies in the past who didn't want to come to AUVSI because they were sort of afraid of that military connotation, and they didn't want to look at a DJI drone and then have people automatically assume, oh, the military is using it, and I don't believe they are. And now, I think, is the first year that we're really seeing so many of the commercial drones or the consumer drones here because no one's afraid of that military connotation anymore. The public perception has really shifted to drones can be used to fight fires and to gather agriculture data and to do search and rescue and just to take great selfies. I love that shift and it's refreshing to see the, the consumer side here. And then the FAA had an announcement this morning your Ministry of Huerte was talking about a change which I understand you have some direct personal Ooh, experience with. Yes, that change to me blew my mind. So what he announced today, drones would be clear for educational use cases. A college course could teach drones and fly drones and use them and they wouldn't need to get this Section 333 exemption, which is obviously quite the challenging process. You need a pilot's license. So actually, I was in a drone journalism class at the University of Missouri uh, back in, I guess, 2013. We were flying drones and we were operating under the assumption that this was educational use, which is clear to fly drones. And we got the joy of getting a cease and desist letter from the FAA saying, we believe this is a commercial use because you're paying money for the credit hours for the class and the professor is taking a paycheck. So that's a commercial use and we are going to shut down your program, which was so unfortunate. I mean, if there's one thing this world needs more of, it's more drone education. And the FAA told us no. So this announcement to me is really personal in the FAA saying, actually, you know, we were wrong and I'm glad they admitted they were wrong and are able to make change and saying, yes, drone education classes um, are, are a good thing and shouldn't shouldn't be a hindrance to teach. What do, where should people go if they want to catch up with what you're doing? They can find me at thedronegirl.com or twitter.com slash thedronegirl. All right, well, Sally, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. It was a real pleasure to see you here at the show. Thank you. It's an honor to be with the Roswell Flight Test Crew. We're, we're truly glad to have you here. <laughs> and from AUVSI 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Sally. Thank you. <laughs>